my beautiful Scorpios, welcome to First Eye Visions. I am Q, I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. This is going to be a general reading. Um, I'm going to tap and tune in to see what we could pick up in terms of energy, what's lurking, what's creeping, what's kind of like, you know, scheming in the background, watching in the backgrounds. I feel a lot of I spy energy. We always have that energy with Scorpios. People are always uh, preoccupied with what you got going on. So we're going to give them a little shine today. We're going to get in, into the energy and see what kind of intentions I feel ulterior motives, I feel hidden agenda energy. So this is going to be the They Pray and Pray on your seer, um, downfall series. Um, for anyone who may be new, welcome. My name is Q. As I said, I'm intuitive. I am an empath. I am a channeler and I am um, clairaudient. So I do incorporate music into my readings. They tend to blend very beautifully with the messages in the tarot cards. Uh, right now we have the spinners and the name of the song is called I'll Be Around. Um, so the first thing that resonated with me was the spinners. Um, I feel like this is somebody who kind of likes to spin the story, spin the narrative. Um, as I was saying, someone with like ulterior motives or someone with a hidden agenda. Um, but I do feel like with I'll be around, um, this person could be someone that you could have like, you know, was like, peace, I'll see you later. You cut things off, cut ties, cut communication. Um, but this person is still around, still lurking in the background, still spying, still watching. Maybe somebody has set up, like I said, dummy accounts um, because they have some ulterior motives or maybe they're just super perturbed, super concerned with what you got going on. But we're going to tap into that energy. Um, welcome to anyone who may be new. Hopefully you stay a while. Maybe the messages will resonate with you. Um, this will be a general reading. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, your Venus, check your Mercury, your Mars, just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Uh, this is also timeless, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, that is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Uh, let's go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit teams, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine to send us a beautiful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is, so more to be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So before this fabulous song came on, we had Erica Badu called Agitation. So I do feel like somebody may be coming back. This is retrograde, Mercury retrograde energy. So people from your past may be trying to come back. Like I said, there's a lot of people plotting and scheming in the background. So maybe they're trying to figure out a way to agitate you, to aggravate you, to get you to focus on them. And the whole point is to not, okay? Um, right now we have Fabulous, and this is called The Hope, and this is featuring Fe um, Jadakus. So this is definitely somebody who sees that you are on your bag. You're like in your bag, you're on your star energy right now. So a lot of you are being very focused on healing yourselves, very focused on, you know, like... Um, I feel you're co-creating right now with Source. So a lot of you could be like in um, a creative zone. You know, you could be very creative, very artistic at this time, really channeling your energy in a positive way, transmuting anything that was negative and turning it into something beautiful. Um, I feel like you've been very hopeful even in the mo those moments uh, where things got a little thick, things got a little heated, um, and even bad. Like you maybe went through some really... Um, traumatic experiences with some folks and you know these people agitated your spirit or they're coming back to be agitators um and you have to remain focused remain hopeful that better days are ahead it's almost like the divine wants to remind you um that something beautiful is coming because the hope is like you know maintaining that optimism keeping your eyes on the prize not getting sidetracked not getting duped not getting bamboozled to fall for the trap entrapment is what i'm hearing for Four, four, four on the clock, so your angels are with you. So let's get some messages from the numerology deck. 
So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. So we got self-love. So focus on the self-love, self-care. When you focus on self-love, self-care, you don't extend yourself beyond measure. So this is about just like prioritizing you, your wants, your needs, and also tapping into your higher self, that higher um, state of consciousness. So this is like connecting with your higher self, connecting with, you know, that Christ consciousness, using discernment, using your intuition. Um, your intuition is instructing you to focus on the self. So, you know, the self love is something that you need to preserve right now. Um, not be so giving, um, not let anybody come in and, and just kind of like, you know, feed and parasite, be parasites to your energy. So self love. So don't get distracted. 61. That's the seven, the crown chakra. So a lot of you could be getting like downloads, divine intervention, synchronicities, uh, just telling you to focus on the self, telling you to, you know, um, you know, prioritize your needs, take your power back. That's like a, a position of power. And right now we got um, Bilal featuring Carmen, and this is called Star 69 PS with love. So I definitely am sensing, remember I was picking up the fact that you had like people watching. Some of those people are secret admirers. Some people like, you know, they, they hate what they can't duplicate. So this almost like these people are your fans um but they're obsessed so they're almost like stands you know what i'm saying they're almost like people who are like you know that that single white female you know what i'm saying somebody that like comes in wants to be around you but then they're trying to replicate something that you're doing um they're trying to be you you know so be mindful also some of you all are seen as a star so you could be in the spotlight you may have a, a very large platform social media platform maybe you have a tiktok and you're getting a lot of views i'm hearing some of y'all got like millions of views so even if you have like a youtube channel maybe your channel went viral for a particular video and you have up to like a million views and that's something that people are hating that's something that they're jealous of that's something that people are kind of like sitting in the background um hating the fact that you're getting that type of attention um with this star six nine i also feel like some of y'all could be getting a lot of um spam calls or you may have people just like calling your phone or even even if it's not calling your phone, maybe sending you spam messages via email, and maybe you have people requesting your um, friendship on like social media platforms, and you refuse it because something in your spirit is just like, nah, and then they request it again, and these are people who are trying to entrap you. They just want to kind of get in because maybe you have a prior... Uh, uh, a private account and so they're just trying to get in to kind of like look at your account see what you're posting see what you're doing see what you're thinking see what you're working on so be mindful of that so the bottom of the deck focus on the self self-love you're also seen as a star somebody may see you as wish fulfillment so we have and it says ps with love so maybe somebody that sees you as wish fulfillment may give you a, me a call may ring you we got forgiveness and this is the number 96 so I feel like forgiveness, you forgiving those that did you dirty, you forgiving those that wronged you is something that is propelling you forward. It's like you have, are being blissed, you know, um, with some sort of wish fulfillment because of the act of forgiveness, because you have shown compassion, because you haven't judged those that did you wrong. I feel like forgiveness has brought you back into harmony, back into spiritual alignment. I feel like there is also someone from you know, maybe your past, because I'm getting six of cups energy. I'm also getting the six, the lovers. So this is someone that may want your forgiveness, may seek your forgiveness because they've done something in, um, wrong in the past. This person now sees you as a star. Um, and this is crazy because the name of the song is called star six, nine, and this card is forgiveness nine, six. So it's almost like this is saying that this is like a twin flame, a soulmate. This connection can be like that spiritual, um, a spiritual partnership, a love partnership. So there's like there, the two of you may communicate telepathically, intuitively. This person may be sending you messages because let me just show you the name of the song so you could see. So it says star six, nine P S with love. So somebody could be sending you messages telepathically, intuitively visiting you in your dreams, just kind of letting you know that they love you. Cause like I said, I'm getting six of cups. So this is someone from your past. I don't know if this is an ex or if this is someone that you just had um, a very strong connection with, but you guys parted ways. So this could be a friend. This could be somebody you grew up with, somebody you knew from childhood, somebody you um, went to school with, college, whatever. Somebody you may have even worked with. 
maybe somebody wants forgiveness because they breadcrumbed you along. They didn't see your worth and value at the time, and now they do. They see you as a star. They may see you, as I said, because they could be spying on you, watching you via social media. All right? So we have on the bottom of the deck, happy ending. So prepare yourselves for a happy ending. I feel like if somebody does come in, they're going to apologize. You know, they're apologizing because they want your forgiveness, but I feel like something can result um, in a happy way. Something can um, end amicably or something can, you know, pick up. So maybe there is a happy ending awaiting you, um, but there's communication, obviously. This is a blue card with purple on the middle. So somebody could be receiving messages from their ancestors and angels um, that they need to come in and apologize to seek your forgiveness because maybe you've accepted an apology you've never received and someone knows that in order to get balance in order to bring balance or restore balance or restore the harmony between you and them they need to you know communicate I apologize and it was 10 10 on the clock it was 10 46 so I do feel like this is somebody that you've had some sort of like really painful energy because I'm getting a 10 of wands and 10 of swords energy so this is somebody who may not have put in the effort somebody that may not have um, shown how much they cared or may not have appreciated you when they had you or maybe this is somebody who definitely sabotaged the connection i'm hearing self-sabotage and we got 11 11 so this can be a twin flame dynamic you know that you know you and your person will come together and there is a sense that you know when you come together and you're both wounded you're going to teach each other lessons and i feel like you both parted ways and this is called um rex and effect and this is called rump shaker so there was a lot, something was wrecked. The relationship was damaged um, and it was the effect of someone's selfishness, the, the effect of someone, you know, sabotaging the connection, as I was saying, but also ultimately deceiving you, betraying you, backstabbing you, lying to you. And I feel like, you know, something can, um, you know, end amicably. I keep hearing the word amicably. Maybe somebody didn't end things amicably. And maybe when they come in and ask for your forgiveness, it can result in some sort of happy ending. I feel like three, um, with this nine, three, that's 12. Uh, so I'm getting a sense like, you know, this is like the three of cups, somebody wanting to reunite, reconnect. All right, let's tap and tune in. All right, so Divine Spirit, 11 Light. Let's see what we got coming in going on, going on for our beloved Scorpios. So someone wants your forgiveness, but I also feel like a lot of y'all forgave. Y'all forgave people, you know, because I'm hearing they knew not what they did, what they did. So these cards are sticking on the outside. So I feel like they want to be expounded. So we're going to go like this. Okay. So we have changed. So a lot of y'all made some changes. You made changes not only to yourselves, but I feel like you also changed, um, you know, internally. You did a lot of soul searching. You did a lot of healing internally. And I feel like those changes are now, you know, they're starting to, um, they're starting to reflect external. So you did the internal change and they're reflecting externally. So that means you're like now more attractive, you know, you're now attracting, uh, more to you. You're attracting good energy to you, good, um, opportunities, good people, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's because of the positive changes you've made within yourself. This is almost like a green blue card. So I do feel like maybe a lot of you were very quiet, very closed mouth, very hush, maybe passive in your past. And now you're expressing yourselves more. You're communicating yourselves more. You know, maybe something you do, maybe you have a podcast and you express yourselves and communicate through that means. And maybe that's how people are watching you. And maybe what they're seeing, they're starting to like. They're starting to see you as a star. Maybe they're seeing that you're helping other people or other people are kind of giving you good reviews, praising you, praising your work. You know, and, and they see the change that you've made. They also see that you have healed a lot. Like you've healed a lot of your own um, pain, your childhood. You've healed that inner child. You've worked very hard on, you know, restoring, you know, that, that self-love. You know, because maybe in your past, um, you overextended. And so this came off as you not, you know, you, you being more naive, you um, than being strong, like I said, kind of passive. So people may have saw you as like some sort of, you know, footstool, if you will. But it's almost as if like you've made positive changes. So this is something somebody is appreciating and they want to communicate. And we see physical activity. 
So a lot of you all could be like implementing exercise, yoga, African dance, Zumba. Maybe you're jogging more. Maybe you joined the gym. Maybe you're doing, you know, your own little routine, walking, going out in nature. Maybe you got a bike. I feel like you're being more active. You know what I'm saying? I also feel like there's a depth of you know, something because the 67 reduces to 13 and this 13 is the, you know, that's the death card in traditional tarot. So I'm getting a sense like, you know, if you all were kind of stuck and stagnant, now you're being more active. It's almost like the death of the old version of you and the new you is emerging because that 13 is four. So now you are coming off more stable, more self-sufficient, more secure. Um, and we have Mary J. Blige playing your child. So I do feel like somebody, um, so like I said, I feel like you all healed your inner child, but I also feel like, you know, maybe you are, you know, doing more activities with your children. Maybe you've been very proactive in helping your children, um, you know, sort through and work through any of their, um, trauma, you know, um, Regina King, a beautiful actress. I used to watch her since she was a child on 227, her child committed suicide this past week. And so I do feel like, you know, be more active, proactive in communicating with your children because we got Mary J. Blige, your child. So pay more attention to your children, to their activities, to whom they are communicating with online. You know, because like I said, this 67 reduces to 13. 13 is the death card. Maybe some of you lost children. Maybe some of you had... Um, miscarriages and I send love and condolences to you if you suffered from that maybe some of you were working too hard and that's how you lost your child maybe a lot of you were you know um, doing too much overextending yourself doing too much physical activity maybe you were on your feet too much and this led to you losing your child I love you mommy it's 12 13 um, so that reduces to seven so pay attention to what you're picking up intuitively psychically telepathically so we have an adventure. So a lot of you need to be more spontaneous, get out of the routine, the regimen, you know, that day to day. A lot of I just feel like boredom, you know, I feel like boredom, you know. So with this 55, this is the death of that. You know, there's a lot of endings. So every ending denotes a new beginning. So I do feel like y'all are going to be more daring, more risky. You're going to take leaps of faith and do things that you want to do. So maybe some of you all are going to just start. You know, maybe this year you vowed. You said in this sixth universal year, I'm going to do things that make me feel, you know, more harmonized, more centered, more grounded. So you're going to do things like out in nature. Maybe you're going to take more nature walks. Maybe you're going to, you know, do things where you feel that connection to Mother Gaia. So you may be out in nature more. You know, like I said, maybe running, jogging. Maybe you're going to start doing yoga outside. Maybe you're going to start riding your bike, but you're going to be more adventurous. And I feel like the divine wants you to, you know, take your children. If you have children, take them on those voyages, on those nature walks so that they can develop a connection with the, the, the um, with Mother Gaia, with the divine, with source as well. I feel like a lot of y'all need to pay attention to your children as well. I also feel like somebody, um, maybe some of you ladies had somebody who denied your children and maybe that's what you were seeking forgiveness. You know, somebody is seeking forgiveness for, for denying a child. I just picked that message up, uh, because I heard her, um, I heard Mary J. Blige's lyrics. And so I feel like maybe somebody denied your child. Maybe somebody denied a child. You could be pregnant about to give birth and maybe you all are going through some sort of DNA you know, having some sort of um, DNA testing done and it's going to come out that this person is the child and they're going to seek your forgiveness. But we have personal growth. So this was all preordained. It was destined to go down this way because I feel like a lot of you all had to develop healthier relationships with yourselves and with your ability to trust your own intuition and to use discernment because you were being, like I said in the past, I was just picking on the word, picking up on the word passive. So maybe you were passively aggressive. You know, maybe it took a lot to just get you to blow up. So it's like, it was like tick, 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 and then boom, you blew up. And so the, to me, that's passive because if somebody 
you know, upset you, it's important to let them know right then and there so they don't continue to push those buttons so that you will blow up. It's like, you know, you got to teach people how to treat you. So I feel like that's something that you grew, you know, that that's something that you learned in this process. So you grew from this process. Maybe somebody, um, abandoned you during a pregnancy and you had to do everything on your own. And so now you've learned how to be self-sufficient, independent, you know, a lot of you listened and trusted your intuition, but I also feel like psychically you all are more sensitive. You all are, um, you are more, um, tapped in if you will. So it's like, you now know to trust your intuition, to know if something doesn't sit right in your spirit, to trust that and to, to be off that shit immediately. Like you don't give people benefit of the doubt no more. You don't give them chance after chance no more. Like you may have in the past. Cause remember with that 1046, it's 1010. So I was picking up 10 of swords, 10 of wands. So I feel like a lot of y'all were overburdened and doing way too much. You self-sacrifice, you self-sabotaged in a lot of ways because when people who are coming to you imbalanced and they see that you're willing to do it all and be everything and give everything that you have, they're going to take because they're not in their right state of mind. So they were imbalanced. So what they did was they leaned on you. So they it became more of a codependent relationship where you were being taken for granted and abused and used, mistreated and devalued, unappreciated. And you had to learn from this and this person also learned from it when you self the tie, when you separated yourself, when you started set, putting up healthy boundaries, when you started to be more guarded, when you cut them off. And so that led to you growing and you growing has triggered, activated your person to now do their work. So with the seven, I feel like you were getting a lot of downloads and a lot of divine interventions. So look at that. We got Lord Finesse and this is called the message. So a lot of y'all was receiving divine interventions from spirit. And I feel like somebody is going to send you a message, you know, with Lord Finesse. I feel like somebody may try to come back finessing you. So be mindful of that. You know, you're more intuitive. So I do feel like you could pick up on bullshit. You could pick up on somebody's bullshit tactics, intentions, because I remember I was picking up on like ulterior motives in the beginning of the reading. So let's see who's praying and praying on Scorpio's downfall and why I feel like, you know, forgiveness with this forgiveness here. I definitely feel like a lot of y'all forgave um, people because I'm hearing they knew not what they did. So it's almost like, you know, they're mere mortals. So we got two cards that flipped over the bottom of the deck surrender. So the divine wants you to surrender to him, surrender to the divine. You know, devote more time connecting to the divine. I feel like the divine wants you to surrender because a lot of y'all have been like really um, trying to control things that are out of your control. You got to trust the divine timing of things. So what we have here is synchronicity. So a lot of you could be seeing a lot of synchronized acts. You might be seeing 666-888-777. And that's letting you know. You know, that's almost like letting you know something is about to happen. You're on the precipice of something new, something beautiful. Because this 87 reduces to 15. 15 is 6. So 6 is about harmony. 6 is love. Remember the lovers. I was hearing the 6 of cups, the lovers. Uh, I mean the 6 of cups and I heard the lovers in the beginning of the reading. So I do feel like, you know, somebody's going to send you a message. And this message is absolutely going to be on time. You know what I'm saying? It's like something that you needed to hear, something that you, you know, could have been waiting to hear. You know, maybe you've been waiting for some sort of an apology. Maybe you've been waiting for someone that you deemed your person, that divine masculine, that divine feminine, and they're going to finally send you the message that you've been waiting for. So something Things have been happening very synchronized. Maybe you're seeing the same number synchronizations. And when you look up the angel meaning, it lets you know that something is coming. Um, you're feeling this sense, this urge, this, this inkling that something is coming. And it's because you are very sensitive to energy right now. Like I said, with that card, we had the... Um, um, oh, man. It was the, the... What was that? It was the 61... Whatever that card was that was before I started to, to do this, it, it reduces to 61 and it was the number seven. So that's your crown chakra. So that's the divine downloads, interventions, transmissions. This is the messages that you're receiving. And so the divine is sending you these messages, giving you the nudge that something is coming. And so here we have relationship change. So you can feel that somebody's coming in that is going to change your relationship status. So a lot of you, if you're single right now, you won't be. You won't be for very long. 
And this could be why people are hating with this 56. I feel like with that 11 reference, this is definitely, again, you're getting that inkling, that notion, that sensation. You're feeling things. You're seeing number synchronicities. A lot of y'all could be seeing 444, and it's making you think of the heart chakra. Or you could be seeing 444, and it's making you think of, you know, the three of cups energy because that's, you know, that 444 is 12, um, and that reduces to three. So that's like the three of cups, someone reuniting. I've referenced that as well in the beginning of the reading, but this 11 also makes me think of 1111 11, dual energy so somebody that matches your fly your vibration your energy speaks your love language because there's green in the middle so somebody could be coming in and honestly communicating that they love you that they care about you that they feel deeper than they may have let on in the past maybe they had a blockage maybe they weren't as, as assertive maybe they were still entangled um because i'm hearing the word entanglement and the divine wants you to surrender Divine wants you to take that leap of faith. The divine wants you to get out of your head and trust the process. Right now, we have poor righteous teachers, and the name of this is called Rock This Funky Joint. So I do feel like somebody's coming in to rock your world is what I got when I heard rock this. This person's coming in to be a rock. So they're going to have your back, middle, front. They ain't going to let you hit the ground if they fall in themselves. I feel like this person is going to be a great support system. The divine Spirit, who's praying and hating on Scorpio's downfall and why? And so we have healing. So the 6-6, six, six, definitely dual energy again. So I do feel like both of you are communicating, like I said, telepathically, intuitively via your dreams. Because the 6-6 six, six tells me that you're tapped in very, um, very much to, you know, your higher self. So you're very intuitive. You're using discernment. I feel somebody's communicating to you telepathically. I definitely feel like a lot of you all, through your healing process, you've learned how to transmute negativity. And that led to you tapping into your spiritual gifts and, you know, becoming more sensitive psychically, you know, also channeling, you know, your, your, um, your gifts in a way where you can, um, you can trust what you're feeling almost, but you've healed, you've healed thyself. You know, a lot of you healed from heartbreak, from loss, from pain, because this 6-6 six, six reduces to 12. That's three. So a lot of you, and I'm thinking of the three of swords. So I feel like a lot of y'all had to heal from disappointment, like I said, being deceived, backstabbed, betrayed, because I was picking up on that 10-10 energy with the 10-46 um, time frame. So I do feel like y'all focused a lot of time, devoted a lot of time to healing. I feel like you trusted your intuition, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of y'all knew somebody was doing some shit behind your back. They was being stank, nasty, fugazi, funky. Maybe somebody was suffering from addictions, maybe smoking weed. With follow your dreams, I definitely feel like you got lost in, you know, your passion. And you started to hone those skills, gifts, talents. And you started to master them. I feel like that I'm just picking up like studious energy, you know. As I said, that star reference in the beginning with star six, nine, I definitely feel like somebody sees you as a star. So a lot of you could be doing things, you know, kind of like in the spotlight and maybe you're helping heal the collective. Maybe, like I said, you have a podcast and maybe this is a, a podcast which helps people to, you know, learn to love themselves or to to um, release trauma and pain from their childhood, from their past. Maybe some of you all are channelers, psychics, you know, maybe you have um, a, t a YouTube channel. But it's like whatever you're doing, it's motivating, it's healing. So it's like you've tapped into your, your spiritual gift and you're following your dreams and your passions. And this is something that's also admired by those that's watching. And it's also something, you know, people hate what they can't duplicate, like I said. So maybe they're jealous of the fact that you're getting this attention, you're garnering the attention, the recognition. And this is something that frustrates them. So let's see, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Dang, we got a lot of messages. Self-discipline. So you're not, you're no longer like um, allowing people to influence you by negatively or otherwise. It's like you're now focused on yourself. You're not allowing anybody to distract you. With self-discipline, this is somebody who um, knows that a thing can only distract them if they give it their attention. So you're disciplined now to not get um excited by other people coming to you saying shit it's like you know that people got lips and they're going to use them shits to say bullshit all the time you've changed your perspective this 41 is five so you preserve you know your you reserve the right to 
um, address the bullshit or not. And I feel like you're just in a, a energy of power now. You know, you have respect now, self-respect. So you don't respond to every little thing. You know, you know that your energy right now, um, that is your, um, you know, your energy right now is your, oh my God, what is the word I'm speak? I'm thinking of? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Give me one moment. Your energy right now is your currency, okay? So that's what you are, you know, you're, you're moving like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like now you know not to, you know, feed into the bullshit because I feel like a lot of people are trying to get you, you know, to fall into traps and you're just too wise. You know, this 41, you've already changed, you know what I'm saying? And now you're, you know, you're not just exhausting your energy um, responding to bullshit right now we have black street and this is called we gonna take you back so and it says don't leave me so definitely somebody's trying to take you back to the old version of you and you're not falling for the bullshit the name of this album is called another level you're on another level so I'm hearing the word ascension you've grown you've matured so let's take a look so we got love and you've matured because you have a love of self now you practice in self-love you're putting you first you're not allowing other people to make you feel guilty or to make you feel incompetent or unworthy or any of those things because you love yourself now. This is something that you've learned to do. This six is about you focusing on you now and not letting anybody string you along, puppeteer you along, and mind fuck you ultimately, gaslight you with their bullshit. So right now, oh man, do I take all these cards? Oh, let me turn this down because I feel like it's overpowering me. All right, so we got patience, we got creativity, completion, manifestation, happy ending, teaching and learning, and compassion. So these are all your messages. So you've definitely been very patient in the process. I'm going to expound on these because this is too many cards. I do feel like love is in the air because you got relationship change. And I do feel like that's what the divine is saying, that you have like a wish fulfillment that's coming in someone that you may have manifested. Because as we see right here, we got manifestation. So I do feel like you've manifested someone or something and you've manifested them after you learned that you had the power, that you're the alchemist, that magi, that you could transmute negativity, turn it into something beautiful, turn your pain into power, literally co-create with source. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you, this is your gift. This is a gift that you've awakened to. This is a gift that the divine has in it's like the divine led you to this because you devoted so much time healing thyself. And in healing thyself, you learn to love thyself. And in loving thyself, you've learned to, you know, your love language. You've learned who you are. You learned how powerful you are. And I feel like this also tapped you um, into something creative, you know, kind of like uh, clued you in on a creative gift that you had or some sort of skill set, talent that you were to help others with. There's patience necessary uh, when it comes to you and some sort of relationship change. I feel like the change, you know, the, the healing that you've had to do, um, I feel like somebody else is going through their healing process. Um, and I feel like, you know, with this don't leave me, somebody definitely doesn't want you to leave them behind. Um, because we do see here with this completion, um, they don't want you to go. You know, this is the highest number of change. You realize somebody just does not rock on your level, on your frequency. And I feel like there's a happy ending here when you do finally finalize a connection or finalize some sort of situation there's something beautiful that's awaiting and i feel like with teaching and learning um that is typical of that yin yang twin flame uh divine counterpart dynamic you know you both are learning at the same time like i said and most times you'll be mirroring one another so let's give some messages from the goddess guidance bottom of the deck we got bright future so expect things to improve just like this card here, happy ending. You know, you got this happy ending here for a reason. And then you got Mama Lakshmi saying bright future. So I do feel like you're being rewarded. You're being recognized. You're being, um, you're being blissed with some sort of wish fulfillment. Things are improving. And if you are worrying, remember worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. Because I feel like, you know, you are ascending, growing, leveling up. Because uh, like I said, the name of this album is Black Streep, Another Level. So I do feel like you're leveling up. And I feel like when you enter into this new chapter of your life, you're going to be blessed with like rewards, things that were being blocked and hindered and delayed. 
um, is now going to open up for you because I feel like the divine has seen um, that you definitely have been doing your due diligence. Um, you've been forgiving people. You've been adhering and obedient to, you know, whatever it is the divine is instructing you to do. You've been obedient. And so now there's rewards. There's some sort of recognition, bright future, infinite supply. You're being rewarded because you've ended a cycle. Like I said, this, this Cali, you know, this is called endings and beginnings. So you have released some sort of dark, you know, karmic cycle. Like, you know, you went through that dark night of the soul. And as we see here, you trusted, you know, your own intuition, which led to you completing the cycle, which led to you now seeing things that were hidden from you. Um, we have Kendrick Lamar, and this is called the Black of the Berry. And so I do feel like a lot of you all were treated like the black sheep. A lot of you all were, you know, being lied to and betrayed. A lot of you all had relationships with people that were not really, um, that weren't really rooting for you. They were trying to put roots on you. These were not people that were your friends. They were your frenemies. Um, in a lot of ways, I feel like a lot of y'all learned, you know, that, you know, you'd rather eat crumbs with buns than sit there and eat steaks with snakes. So you had to cut those soul ties. You had to cut yourselves free from shit that was not rocking, you know, that was not in your best interest. So it's like you had to learn to release. And in releasing you know, what wasn't serving you. Now you're opening yourselves up to something new. You're opening yourselves up to this beautiful, bright future, infinite supply. Um, you know, I feel like you learn to protect yourselves because uh, Kali is a very protective um, deity, goddess, uh, you know, in Hindu, uh, you know, uh, spirituality. So she is, you know, very protective, very powerful. She gets rid of your enemies. And I feel like that's what you did. You, you, you cut your enemies off. People, places, things that weren't serving you. And this led to you speeding up the process of healing um, and ultimately um, of attracting, you know, things that were being blocked because you had such parasitic energy, leachy energy around you, energy vampires. I'm getting incubus succubus as well. Um, so let's cut the deck. Divine spirit of love and light. What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? And so we have Sarasvati. So a lot of you all, you know, through the act of forgiveness, um, you know, maybe you all tapped into some of your, your skill sets, your gifts, uh, transmuted pain and hurt trauma, um, so that you could, you know, focus on, uh, you know, what it is that you felt called to do, um, what spirit was motivating and encouraging you to do. It's like you all discovered you had some talents. Uh, a lot of you discovered you were musicians. Some of you discovered you enjoyed uh, playing certain instruments or enjoyed being producers, you know, writing songs even. Um, I feel like with that, that was very healing. You know, that also led to you forgiving people uh, for you know, for their actions, you know, for the things that they did. Um, this led to you also helping people to, to perhaps open up, you know, open up emotionally, you know, to, to allow themselves to be vulnerable, to seek forgiveness, you know, cause like I said, maybe some of you all, you know, your, your singers and maybe your music touches the hearts and souls of those that listen and you know maybe it's it's resonating in a way where somebody um desires forgiveness from another person or they you know are more open or susceptible to forgiving someone that may have wronged them because maybe your lyrics are you know that motivating or that inspiring in that sense um we got to start delegating and this has come out several times during the pre-shuffles in your readings, your past couple of readings. So I do feel like, as I said, a lot of you all um, were deemed naive, passive, um, and just, you know, just foolish because you were not delegating. You know, it was almost like you was doing everything. You know, I picked up on that Ten of Wands energy. So it was like y'all was doing everything and you was doing it with a smile, but maybe deep down you was just like, you was tired. You know, you worked yourself into oblivion. And, and, and you know, the divine is saying like in this new chapter, you cannot be doing everything. That is imbalanced. That's not normal. 
So you have to protect your energy and you have to allow yourselves to receive. So you have to be receptive in order for things to be balanced. So don't feel the need to do everything um, because if those are the dynamics of your relationships, your friendships, even your family dynamics, where you're the only one giving, you're the only one contributing, you're the only one checking in, you're the only one giving people money, you're the only one being thoughtful, you're the only one, then you need to cut those relationships off. Pay attention to how things are you know how things sit in your spirit but also pay attention to the signs and synchronicities if something doesn't feel right you got to trust that instinct you know you got to trust that inner gumption because that's your higher self letting you know like look there's something wrong in this in this situation here and anybody that cares for you is not going to just sit back and watch you do all the work that is not the definition of love and that is no longer your love language you know it never has been so divine spirit of love and light who's praying on scorpio's downfall and why Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why, divine spirit? Because you're a sorceress, a seer. Because you're intuitive, you're clairaudient, you're clairvoyant, you're psychic. You could read them, you know what I'm saying, front and back. You already know what they're going to do before they do it. They don't like being seen by you. They feel like you're psychics. You know, they feel like, you know, you can call things. Like, you, you could see into the future. You know what I'm saying? It's almost as if this person sees that, like, whatever you say is going to happen, it happens. You know, because the synchronicity is like maybe they don't like the fact that you are intuitive or that you can pick up on their energy. And it was 4, oh, um, 4 40, 11, so that's 6. And so this 15 reduces to six also so they don't like that you're tapped in that you could see through them your first eye is wide open right now we have nas uh and this is called you mean the world to me so so somebody definitely feels like you mean the world to them right somebody doesn't like the fact that somebody means the world to you you know what i'm saying somebody doesn't like the fact that you know you can you could feel you could it's almost like you you know someone's thoughts like you could see through them, that you can, you're a master manifester as well. And this is somebody who I feel like you've cut off because this is like, girl, you mean the world to me. So somebody definitely that you've cut off, that you have since, you know, released, let go. You're no longer dealing with them. But I feel like you feel them though. You can still feel them in your energy. And that's because they're still carrying you around in their spirit. They see you as the divine feminine, this inner goddess, Aphrodite. So like I said, you're like tapping into your creativity. You're doing something creative. Um, they see you as beautiful. They see you as loving mothers. And they, you know, just very nurturing, caring. You do shit your way. Like you don't try to fit into boxes. You know, you, you do shit your way. You're like a trendsetter. You revolutionize things. You are different. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're different, but you're also very kind and this is what's going to attract you know new loves you know new lovers new suitors it's like you're attracting people even from your past and remember you had that message card by lord finesse some people are going to try to like you know um gaslight do play games uh and it's only because they want to try to keep you you know to them they want to kind of like you know they want to own you i don't want to say own but they want to like they're obsessive over you you know, they're possessive is a better word. So, you know, they, they want victory. I see here where people, you know, they, there's some folks that want victory with you. You're going to have a lot of suitors and you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice because only one person is like that twin flame. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And look at this undying love and relationship change. So this is definitely somebody you could not, um, that you could be, you know, um, estranged from, not communicating with. Um, I definitely am seeing here that somebody has an unconditional love, undying love, and the divine is saying, regardless of how this situation looks, um, you know, this person is definitely holding you and carrying you in their spirit. This is like almost like past life energy. You know, this has past life love, some sort of soul tie you and this person share or have, and this is why this person cannot let you go. And we got um, Houdini. So this is somebody that, you know, either you've ghosted them. Look at this. I can't make this shit up. Past life undying to me. I was picking up on, like, if it's undying, this is something that transcends space and time. And with this energy here, Houdini, I feel like this is somebody that used to ghost you a lot. Maybe you ghosted them. They ghosted you. But y'all are, like, in separation. There's no communication at this time. And this person thinks the world of you so much so that they want to change you from being single, you know, to being wifed up. 
and I feel like that's why y'all had this. It was like a, it was like a pull, a tug. It was a constant battle because it was like one person would be, you know, ready for something, and the other person just wasn't ready. You know, but this person definitely is um, sending messages. You know, sending messages to you, and you're receiving them. You know, because we got the synchronicity here. So it's like intuitively you're picking up on them. They're sending messages, communicating with you, telling you they want to, you know, they want to heal this connection or restore this connection or reunite. This person loves you unconditionally, undubitably. Like this person cares very deeply. And with Houdini, there's no communication at this time. I feel like this connection is like, you know, because it's a past life, it's been, you know, that runner chaser, you know, one person's all in, other person's unsure. And then the other person is sure and the other person is like, I'm not ready, you know, because you did me dirty. So it's just like that back and forth, forth and back. And this is a twin flame. It's four, 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 four in the clock. And I do feel like your angels, you know, are working on this connection. Could be like, you know, literally like preparing the both of you. You know, see that? This person, I did all that shuffling and inner goddess is still here. This person sees you as the divine feminine, the divine masculine. They see that you have very loving, nurturing, caring tendencies, that you're domestic, that you do things your way, you know? This person definitely, you know, they just want five minutes, you know, five minutes of your time. So look at this. We got outside and past life just um, came out. So a lot of you all, maybe when you went outside, remember I was picking up on the fact that some of y'all need to go outside or some of you all, you know, maybe doing yoga outside, sitting by bodies of water, maybe driving, you know, driving, riding bikes, uh, jogging, you know, walking, whatever it is you're doing. I feel like this is what has helped you to heal. You know, being outside is, is it will ground you. It centers you. It brings you back into alignment. You know, and I also feel like you pick up on messages intuitively, clairaudiently. You get divine downloads from spirit. And I feel like it's in regards to love. It's in regards to um, a connection because both of these cards are on the opposite side of the healing. So, so relationship change and love. It's like somebody's sending you messages. Maybe you're seeing certain animal totems out in nature when you're out there. Or maybe there's certain number synchronicities. Maybe you look at somebody's license plate when they're driving by you and it's some synchronized number and it has everything to do with love or something new coming in and that's why you have the synchronicity card here because it's like something is happening in a simultaneous manner and you can't ignore it anymore but I do feel like a lot of you all need to go outside you need to get some fresh air so that you could clear your mind so you could clear you know, even your, you know, your energy, that's a good way to recharge 46, 46. So that's 10, 10. So this is about like release, you know, release, you know, going outside allows you to release some of the, the, the energy that you could be, you know, kind of like bottling up the confusion can go away as soon as you step outside because that sun, that raw beating down on you, breathing that fresh prana, sitting amongst the trees. The trees provide information, alphamation, strength, protection. You know, they denote all of those things. So it's really, it's a symbolism of, you know, you having some major, um, some major download. And I feel like it has a lot to do with someone from your past, a past life love, you know, Maybe they're sending you these messages. We do see that, you know, this feminine energy is wearing this headdress. So you are tapped in. You're, you're very much connected to spirit. And you're very sensitive. I was picking up on that sensitivity that you have. And I feel like you're sensitive to this energy because it's a twin flame, 47, 47 on the clock. <clears throat> so the both of you, you know, that's 11, 11. Remember this 11 came out. So I feel like you can sense that somebody's about to approach you. You could have sensed this. And this is somebody that you, you know, are not in communication with. Look at this, bodies of water. It's time for you to release because when you release, when you sit by a body of water, you know, you being a water sign is very healing. It's like being at home. You know what I'm saying? It's a way for you to ground. It's a way for you to recharge. It's also a way for you to release, as I was saying. So you can release the old so that the new can come in. Remember, Callie showed up. Endings and beginnings. You cannot have a new beginning if you're still holding on to the past and vice versa. And so I feel like with this love, I feel like the divine is saying that it's time for you to release so that something new can come in. 
it's time for you to spend time near a body of water because I feel like it's going to kind of like activate something in you. It's going to allow you to purge, clean, clear, cleanse so that new love can come in. Sweet love. We got to need to bake a sweet love. You got a sweet love that is, um, is ready. It's ready. It's like I'm hearing it's ready for you. So Divine Spirit, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Divine Spirit, why not? Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Bottom of the deck, medicine woman. Somebody definitely can't stand the fact that you are a channeler, a healer, a psychic, an intuitive, a magi, a magician, a witch, a warlock, a wizard. They don't like the fact that you are tapped in, tuned in. They don't like the fact that you can see them, see through them, that you could you know, pick up on energy that you are like, you have this ability to heal the collective. You have some sort of spiritual gifts that you are, you know, a channeler. This is on the bottom of the deck. We got fairness. See that you're receiving good karma. You got somebody coming in that's going to become your husband. This is what somebody's hating. They're hating the fact that you got a sweet love, somebody that's going to speak your love language. And this is good karma. You've accumulated good karma by you doing your just do, like you being forgiving. You know, remember I was saying, like, I feel like a lot of y'all had to forgive people who didn't even apologize. That takes strength. That requires strength. And that also... Um, showed how balanced you were, how emotionally balanced you were. You weren't holding people, you know, um, you know, you weren't faulting other people. You just focused on healing yourselves. And I feel like the divine sees all, knows all, has everyone's address. And you have, you know, impressed the divine so much that the divine is bringing you sweet love, according to Anita Baker. And this is your just due. So you've stood perpendicular in your square, and that's why you're receiving some good karma. Things are being handled fairly, justly, because of your, the seeds you've planted. And that's why you are you know, seen as someone who's a healer, because you've learned to heal yourselves. A lot of you all didn't stoop to anyone's level. A lot of you all had the opportunity you know, to, to, to cut someone down, to, to expose the lies that were being told on you. You had a chance to, you know, expose other people, but you chose the higher road. And because of that, the divine has literally initiated you to become a healer. You know, that's why you're being crowned queen, crowned king. You've become that medicine man, that medicine woman who can now help to heal the collective, heal others. Because you didn't use your powers for, you know, to to be uh, vengeful or use your powers to be vindictive. You used your powers for good. You used your powers to still heal people, to still help people, to still coach, show compassion. And that's why you're being blissed with this real love, true love. That's why the divine was saying you got happy endings here, beloved, because, you know, you're being blissed, recognized, rewarded. You know, it's like all the things you was praying for and asking for, they're going to come true. And that's why, you know, Mama Lakshmi was saying that, you know, there's better days, brighter days ahead. you got a bright future ahead of you. Look at this. I can't make this shit up. I'm saying brighter days ahead, bright future. And we have um, daughter personal healing and happiness here. So you're going to be very happy. And like I said, a lot of y'all notice already, man. You could feel it. It's like you can feel it. You can sense it. This this is energy of, you know, when you are a sorceress and you also are a medicine woman, like you get those downloads, you get those tingling sensations, you get all of that, the aforementioned. You're, you're paying attention to the signs and synchronicities. You know something is coming. You could feel it. You could smell it in the air. You know how sometimes you could smell when rain is coming? Well, you could smell something beautiful is coming and something's coming and it's based off of your your actions is based off of the seeds you've planted. And somebody got life twisted if they think that they're going to interfere or interrupt this because I feel like the divine is opening all of this beautiful, beautiful blessings to you and for you. And it's because of your actions. And you know this. We got Keith Sweat here, and this is called Twisted. So somebody got you twisted. Somebody was... Um, you know, somebody you was dealing with was it like very twisted, very mental. You know what I'm saying? Like they're very like imbalanced mentally. So they could be suffering from some sort of um, narcissism, personality disorder. Um, maybe they're like just um, sociopaths. Somebody is mad that you're happy. Somebody's upset that you have this bright future, like Lakshmi said. Infinite supply. 
It's like you've seen something, you know, something has come to light, but you've also focused on healing yourself. Something has been exposed. You've had that truth, that moment of truth, that moment of clarity. And so now you are illuminated and clear as to the things or the people that was trying to twist the truth or twist something, you know, around 53, 53, that's 8, 8. So that's 16, 7. So you trusted your intuition and you received some sort of download, maybe something that's coming to light. But I see here this feminine energy is, is sitting in what appears to be like this body of water. So I do feel like there's, there's a sense that like you've been healing, you've been releasing, you've been letting things go. And you're doing things now more that's going to be beneficial to you. So it's almost like, you know, there's blessings here based off of what you've done, based off of, you know, the, the, the actions you chose. Get back in there. Daughter romance, personal healing and happiness. See that? Somebody's going to be all jacked up over this because this is like good karma. The daughter romance, somebody that can open up your, your locked heart, you know? That's why the divine was telling you surrender in the beginning. And this person that's coming in, remember I was picking up six of cups, so that past love, somebody that may have walked away, somebody that may have ghosted you, because remember we had that song, Houdini. So this is somebody that 40, 54, 54, somebody's changed. And this is in the incubation. So this is like I said, like the divine is bringing this person in. This person has discovered that they love you. The six is also the lovers. This is somebody that sees you as like their significant other, their divine feminine, their divine masculine, their divine counterpart. They feel this is like that yin yang vibe. Like, you know, you match their fly, you match their energy, you get them, you know, you get their, their wit, you know. You know, it's just like it's a very unique connection, very dope dynamic. I feel like, you know, the both of you stimulate one another in many ways, you know, mentally, physically, you know, they tick all your boxes in terms of that as well. Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Who's praying on Scorpios downfall and why Divine Spirit? Somebody's really going to be salty that you got this beautiful connection. Somebody let a dime piece go. Somebody let a, a king go, you know, because they, were, they weren't aware. And it's like they're going to realize when it's too late. I got confirmation. I'm getting messages. You know, I'm getting messages. Hold on. Give me one second. Sorry, y'all. My son is messaging me. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this one more again. All right, bottom of the deck, we have, see that contract. Y'all are getting good karma. I also feel like, you know, you're, you're ending some sort of karmic, um, you know, karmic um, connection. You're ending it. It's the end of this contract. It's the end of this relationship, the end of the road. I feel like, you know, and it's because somebody had you twisted. They didn't see you ending this connection. They didn't see you going through with that divorce. They didn't see you walking away for good. They didn't see you coming into a new relationship with somebody else. And this is a part of their karma because they didn't appreciate what they had. I feel like a lot of you all could be signing, um, you know, signing some new leases, signing some new, maybe you're leasing a new home, leasing a new car. I feel like good things are coming. Good news is coming in for you. I feel like if there was um, a marriage that kind of like, you know, was dissolved, I feel like somebody is definitely going to apologize. They're going to seek your apology um, because they know they did wrong. You know what I'm saying? They were trying to keep it cool. We got um, Cool Keith here. And the name of the song is called Clifton. I feel like this person was like stuck in La La Land. Like they did a lot of things that they now regret. <sighs> Excuse me. My Palo Santo ash just <sighs> flew everywhere. But I feel like this person now is looking back, reflecting on the past. Maybe they're hearing songs that remind them of you. Maybe some of you, like I said, are musicians. So they could be listening to some of your songs or listening to some of the videos you upload on your social media platforms. But I do feel like, you know, with this karma, somebody's getting karma for the things they've done. But somebody is also, um, you know, maybe wanting to come in and speak the truth, like I said, and apologize for some of the things that they've done to you in the past. I feel like this person was up in La La Land, you know. And with this Archangel Shamuel, I do feel this person um, sees that you've taken your power back. They see you as very strong, very powerful. 
you know, you have strength, courage, and wise dome. And this is something they admire. They also feel seen, you know, like you could see through them that you know when they're lying, you know when they're doing things. Like they, they can't get anything past you anymore. They try to keep it cool. They try to keep a cool disposition. But this person underneath is literally like, you know, kind of like they're, they're, they're kind of timid, you know, like when it comes to you, they're, they're kind of like intimidated is what I wanted to say. You know, they're, they're intimidated by, um, this new you. Cause I feel like a lot of you have truly like transformed. You've, you've leveled up, you've, you've, um, taken on this power and you're owning it, you know, and a lot of you've done a lot of healing and, and it's because you listen to, you know, that spiritual guidance, you know? Your angels and ancestors, you listen to your higher self and it led you, you know, to focusing on yourselves, self-love, self-care, self-discipline. Remember those cards showed up and this is about strength. So this is about integrity, discipline, you know, self-respect, self-worth, integrity, self, um, um, it's dignity is what I'm saying. Standing erect, speaking your truth. This is a number 37. So it's almost like it was the death of that, that very timid, um, meek version of yourself, passive version of yourself. And you started to take on this energy of power, of strength. You know, this is your solar plexus. So your solar plexus, you know, that's you trusting also your inner gumption, you know, and your inner gumption, your, your stomach is also known as your second brain. And the sorceress, you know, she knows to trust her intuition. She knows that she could set the intention with clear intention. She could create the reality she desires. And so I feel like, you know, that's what you started to do is just pay closer attention to, you know, to your, those psychic nudges, you know, to the spiritual guidance you was receiving from your spirit team, your angels, your ascended masters. And I also feel like, you know, this is what's leading to you now um, discovering, you know, your spiritual gifts. See that? This, there's a lot of envy here. And it's because you've taken time out to do you. This is how the cards go, like this. So this is you and your power. And what you, how you've obtained your power was by, you know, creating this boundary. You know, connecting straight from source. This is 19. 19 reduces to 10. So you've already cut folks off. And that's what they're salty about, is the fact that they can't get in. And they're turning this, they're envious because... As you tap into your higher self, you gain, you know, this spiritual power, this connection. It's like you're devoting more time, you know, to your spiritual gifts. And it's just, it's sharpening. And they're sitting here watching you. So I could, I feel like a lot of you all, you know, could have social media platforms. These are people that broke your heart. These are people that were definitely trying to keep you confused. You know, because this 20 to me is like dual energy. So it's like they were kind of speaking out of two um, heads, you know, so two face people, people who are fake. Remember, I was saying like, you know, people will hate what they can't duplicate. And somebody sees here that you are like spiritually protected. Look at these, this energy, the divine is like showering you um, and gifting you with, you know, not only this protection, but also this wise dome, this wisdom, these gifts, these blessings. It's like you're being activated, you know, you're being activated and, you're, and your spiritual gifts are being like amplified to some degree. And so we have Brother Johnson here and this is called Stomp. So these people are really like, these could be people, you know, that could be in your family because I hear Brother Johnson. So Divine Spirit, who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? See that? They hate the fact that you're tapped in and plugged in and tuned in. Look at this. You you could read energy. You could speak energy. You could feel energy. You know what's going to go down before it happens. And, and they can no longer dupe you. You know what I'm saying? So these people are like stomping around like, you know, idiots. You know, because it's like they're, they're frustrated that they can't get at you. They cannot reach you because you are tapped in. You're tuned in. With this 41... Some of these people, remember, with Agitation was playing in the beginning by Erica Badu. They're upset because you know they're just trying to, they're like demons trying to aggravate your spirit, trying to agitate your spirit. And I feel like, yeah, they, they want to they wanna kind of rain on your parade. But it's like you're too, you're too sensitive to energy to fall for it. 
You're very mindful of who you're giving your energy to. So you're not just all available, all open, all accessible to everybody. You're very reserved. You saw on that card, rest and rejuvenate. That's literally like, you know, being in that energy of the hermit, you know, being very protective of your energy, not allowing people, you know, to demand your time and you're highly sensitive. So you're trusting your intuition you know, you're using discernment. You got caring connections that's coming. Somebody that's literally going to be like your, your backbone. This person is going to communicate. This is 14. This is 56. And this person is absolutely going to communicate with you. And I feel like this person definitely is someone. Um, maybe this is somebody you, you thought was like a brother. You thought of as a brother. And maybe they're going to communicate and share with you how they love you know, how deeply they feel about you. Maybe this is just a friend, you know, a friend that you've never, you know, y'all was just friends. Y'all was just cool. And maybe somebody's going to expose or reveal their feelings because this person, you know, really cares about you, really wants to support you. Who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Okay. And we got the temple path. So this could lead to marriage. I also feel like y'all are sensitive. Like this, there's, there's a lot of, um, you're getting support from this, the spirit realm here. I, just as I said, I feel like, you know, because I see these orbs of light, you know, um, around this, you know, this little, um, I don't know what you would call this pavilion. I don't know what you call that gazebo, whatever that is, <laughs> this special place. A lot of people tend to get married, you know, in this particular place. So this is like, you know, very popular um, location for marriage ceremonies or any type of ceremony, you know commitment ceremony of some sort but i feel like your angels are really very instrumental in bringing someone who has the right um intentions um this is somebody who's really going to um you know have your back this is somebody that's definitely going to become um your rock come your you know like your your divine counterpart and there's a lot of people that's really jealous and envious you know these people are people who know that you have a, 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 a strong connection and they could be doing things. I'm hearing the word sabotage, you know, maybe somebody is dealing with someone who's like, um, trying to leech on and latch on and somebody who's trying to restrict them in some way, trying to keep them bound, you know, so maybe somebody is in a very unhealthy relationship or maybe somebody has been healing from dealing with this devil energy, somebody who could have like addiction. So why is, and maybe that's what you're healing from, from dealing with like some sort of devil energy. So these two cards here want to be exposed. See that? Somebody wants to keep someone up in their head. Mind fuckery, gaslighting, manipulation. That's what's being healed. And rest and rejuvenate. So you've taken the necessary time. This is 1819. So this is where you were. That's that's the healing process. That's what healing looks like. Being proactive, you know, not sitting around being a victim, not becoming a victim of your own mind, being imprisoned, you know, mentally, psychologically mind fucked, gaslighted. This is about, you know, releasing this, you know, not being stuck in that space, but being in a peaceful place, in a space of of of, you know, where you could ground yourself, where you could receive those downloads. So this 18, that's the, the highest number of change. So this self-imposed mental anguish, you've now changed it, transmuted it. Realize that you had the power to heal that self and you had to go within. You couldn't allow, you know, other people's opinions and other people's unwarranted advice to affect your mood and attitude. So you had to create, you know, some sort of safe space, a protective bubble, disconnect, unplug, detach disengage from folks that was just not honoring your highest good and once you did that you realized that you had to end those connections indefinitely because it literally was like not good for you and in doing so you discovered there was like some sort of like emotional manipulation or just manipulation someone manipulating your energy you know trying to keep you in this this space with their words tantalizing you with words you know, with element, you know, I do feel like, you know, your element is um, being, you know, that that in tune and in touch with your energy, uh, with your emotions, but also tapping into your intuition, as we saw here, this past life connection. So it's like you're still communicating with someone, even though, you know, separately from one another, you all are going through uh, this process of releasing yourselves from some sort of devil energy. There was a devil energy here. 
And this devil energy, as you can see, is manipulating things. They're holding, you know, something in their hand, manipulating it, trying to control it, bottle it up. But I feel like because you are also, you know, the magis, the sorcerers, you know, you know how to also manifest. You know how to set intention. With your clear thoughts, you can manifest your desired outcome. So I feel like you tapped into your ability to manifest. And this is what that hope was. Remember, we had the song Hope playing. Um, and, you know, I just feel like you were more optimistic in terms of taking your power back, um, transmuting the negativity. I feel like, you know, going outside, you became more sensitive. He was picking up on messages and energy very sensitively. I'm going to put these back because those were expounds. So why is um, healing go outside uh, past life here for our beloved Scorpios for who's praying on Scorpios downfall and why divine spirit? Okay, we're going to do that. See that? Because you're balanced. You got your balance back. You're back in harmony. And this is 22. That's four. So they see you as very stable, very self-sufficient, independent, you know, self-reliant. They see you as someone who's back on your grind. This 66 and 22 is 88. Eight. So they see that, you know, they can't pull the okie doke like they were able to in the past. Like they can't manipulate your energy anymore because you're back in your element. We got Kendrick Lamar element. So it's like you're back in your element, you're back, it's, and it's, it's, it's because you released, you know, you released those faulty belief systems, ideologies. That's why it's important, you know, the divine was encouraging you to go outside, spend some time by bodies of water. See that? You're an initiate. So what you've been through now, because remember you saw teaching and learning. So it was like you was learning all of these lessons. It was not by happenstance. It was not by coinky dink. This was a part of you developing and, and, and evolving, ascending into your role of being a healer. You are a healer, a shaman, a light worker. This is 666. So this is electrons, six no neutrons, six pro protons. And remember, we got element. So this is what's in your DNA. You know what I'm saying? This is what you were called to do. This is what the divine has assigned you to do. This is what they've initiated you to do. And that's why this yin-yang is here, because this is what's bringing you back into harmony. You're masculine and feminine, you know? And with this number here, the six, you're back in spiritual alignment. And I feel like this gift is absolutely, you know, doing part to some sort of past life love, some sort of, you know, disconnect from someone that you have a very strong bond with. Sort of our spirit of love and light. Why is... um love my uh, fearness here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why okay so right now we got Jay-Z and this is called um Hova so Hova is another name for God so I do feel like you know we see here that Mama Ma'at who has everyone's address she represents the all-seeing eyes she represents bringing balance justice fairness to situations so the most high himself is bringing justice and that justice is coming in the form of stability, self-sufficiency, independence, success, expansion, growth, love. This is you being in that divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Back where you're meant to be. Stable, secure, balanced. You know what I'm saying? Grounded, balanced, and in alignment. And this is an energy of you. You manifested this by putting in the work, by channeling the energy, by co-creating with source realizing that you are the alchemist that you have the ability to set your intentions and and create the reality you desire but not giving in to temptation or giving in to the way that things appear we got some expounds look at this blossoming abundance is yours so the seeds you've planted are coming are beginning to grow harvest and that's why you have stability here you're also seen as a very um loving nurturing um you know, um, energy, like you, you bring, you bring peace, you bring love, you bring light. You're, you're very domestic. You know how to get your own. You don't ask for anything, but you give so much. You're very giving, very caring. You know how to make your own money, but you also know how to keep house. So I see you as very domestic. Like you know how to cook, you know how to keep a nice home, you know how to go out and make your own money. So you could be like an entrepreneur, you could be like a supervisor or a boss. You have some high rank in your position at your place of employment. And I feel like these are this, you know, there's just, you know, opportunities are just opening up for you. Remember, you had daughter personal healing and happiness, and right now the daughter romance is here yet again. So there's you're, you're attracting 
a lot of amazing things to you because you're vibrating higher. And it was all a matter of divine timing. Patience is a form of action. Good things take time to create. And this is a part of your karma. That's why the divine is saying fairness. You know, everything is hand being handled fairly justly. That's why you had Lakshmi say, no need to worry. And my saying is, worry is paying interest on problems that may never come. With patience, and you knew to be patient because you was receiving those downloads from spirit, your higher self was telling you not to worry, not to fret. And that's why the divine was telling you to surrender, to relinquish that control. Look what you got coming in. You got blossom and supply or blossoming um, abundance, and you have carnucopia. This is the second time that this message has come out for you all. It's 111 on the clock. So this is definitely something you've been waiting for, anticipating. I'm going to show you because I like to show, show, show and prove. So 111 right there, Big Daddy Kane playing. And this is called Young, Gifted, and Black. So a lot of you all are young. You know, um, you're very gifted in your, your, your abilities. So maybe you're channelers, you're psychics, intuitives, you read tarot cards, you read candle wax, you read coffee cups, you read, you know, maybe you're singers, you're artists, whatever it is that you do, you're gifted. And your gifts are what's ensuring or assuring, I should say, this stability. You know, this is what's assuring this stability, this abundance, this opulence, this expansion, this bright future. And this is what's also bringing you back into equilibrium because you're doing exactly what you're meant to do. There's going to be some decisions you're going to have to make. There's going to be somebody coming in to try to confuse you, to have you stuck in two minds. But I feel like you are the only one that can make the right decisions. Remember, a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. And I feel like because you're so sensitive right now to energy, sensitive, period, to, you know, everything. I feel like you're going to make the right decision. I feel like you're not going to fall for the okie doke. You know, decisions, decisions, decisions. So this is self-imposed mental anguish. This is also listening to people who's mind fucking you, gaslighting you, talking with two from both sides of their mouth. Don't get caught up in the rapture. And so we have here on the split of the dark grimoire is the stars. And then we have the eight of swords. See that? That eight of swords came again. Somebody's trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. You got people trying to box you in, trying to keep you imprisoned. But you also have to be the star who knows how to transmute the negativity and co-create with source to create the reality you want. This is someone that doesn't give up hope. This is somebody that's not giving in to this negative, dark, demonic entity. People are on demon time, so they could literally be doing spells and binding spells and trying to hold you back spells, whatever the fuck they're doing, burying shit. You have to continue to channel your energy and know the power that you possess because you are the conduit of change. You also know how to transmute all this negative shit people are sending to you and throw it right back at their ass infinitely. And being that you are highly sensitive and you're picking up on this energy, that means that they're watching you. You know, they're studying you. They're stalking you as I was picking up. Somebody's trying to sabotage something. These are people with ulterior motives. And this is the people who are trying to cause confusion, mental anguish, mental conflict. And you have to stay 10 steps ahead of the game. And so I feel like you are working with Source, devoting more time, connecting with your higher self, connecting with your spirit team. And I feel like you are co-creating with Source to channel, to like send that shit right back to sender. Infinitely. Fuck tenfold. Infinitely. And so we have the three of wands. So you are anticipating something. It's almost like you know. So you, these people are like studying you. Whatever you're doing it's like they're studying you and they think they have you figured out. They think they got you, you know, um, you know, pegged out. But it's it's literally like it's going to fall, you know, because whatever they're trying to conjure up, it's like you're 10 steps ahead of the game. Spirit is already, uh, you know, alarming you or informing you of what is happening. This three of wands is literally like, you know, ready, set, go. So that's like planning, preparing, strategizing, and then you take action. See this? You've created a fiery wall of protection. These are people you've given, given numerous chances to. So they have no choice but to watch you from the outside because you have created boundaries, because you're no longer available. Right now, we have um, Lee Morgan, and this is called Portrait of Doll. So this person may have a doll. You know what I'm saying? They may have some sort of voodoo doll, hoodoo, some sort of like doll where they're trying to um, manipulate the energy you know, so that they can block blessings. And then we see here the six of pentacles. See that? 
So these are people from your past that you've learned was like kind of like um, breadcrumbing you along, trying to like, you know, penny pinch, you know, really didn't see your worth and value. They had a lot of options, you know, but you're coming into, you know, this, this beautiful divine connection. You've gone through, you know, kissing all them damn frogs to now you're, you're kissing this, this, this king that's coming in, that's being sent directly to you because this person is genuinely in love, genuinely sees you as their divine counterpart. And that's what you're focused on. You're not focused on somebody that just got you like in some sort of fucking, you know, rotation of, of women or men, you know, somebody who's just takes pride and just copy and pasting messages to the, to different women, but it's the same shit. It's like, nah, you, you looking for stability. You looking for that happily ever after you looking for somebody that's going to have, you're going to have that happy house, that spouse, somebody that's going to speak your love language. I feel like somebody probably had to break free from some sort of unhappy marriage in order to come towards you. But I see with this um, eight of pentacles, a lot of you stayed focused, stayed busy, got busy, kept your eyes on the prize, put a lot of time, energy, and effort into your creative projects, into mastering and honing and, you know, building that knowledge, that skill set, that talent. And this is something that the divine instructed you to do so that you wouldn't be, you know, solely focused on someone else. You know, this is also about rebuilding what was destroyed, you know, getting your independence back, you know, um, because maybe you were in a codependent relationship, especially with that um, devil energy showing up. So we have on the bottom of the deck, see that the three of swords. So there is absolutely, you know, this sense that, you know, somebody's receiving their karma, but you're also receiving karma. You're receiving good karma because you've handled things the right way. Your body language is saying it all. You're no longer giving to these people who could have been trying to set you up. You got all these folks around you gossiping, lying, talking, cheating, chatting away, and you're just not interested. You've learned so much in the process of being backstabbed and deceived and betrayed. And these individuals may be coming back for your forgiveness. As I said in the beginning, I feel like these are people that you had to forgive because they never even, you had to, you know, accept the apologies that you never received. And so maybe now, you know, this is why they're receiving karma because they didn't take accountability for the shit that they did. And now you are receiving good karma because you handled that shit like a G. You know what I'm saying? And a G meaning a goddess, a God, and you're being crowned king for your actions. That is beautiful. So look at this. We got the queen of pentacles. So this is you putting in that time and effort into your craft. That eight of, Remember that eight of pentacles, you was keeping your eyes on the prize. So now you done mastered yourself to the point where you are very stable. You're very efficient in your role. And what you do is essential. It's like you are you know, the type who is like very domestic, as I said. So you know how to take care of your children, your family. You know how to keep a home. You know how to keep the home safe. You know how to heal the family. So you're loving, you're nurturing, you prepare food for them. You give them good advice. You have all of those tendencies, but you also can put on another hat and go outside of the home and get that change, get that bread, that cheddar, that cheese, that dough, that biscuit. You know how to get that moolah. And so this is what you've done. You've been able to, you know, whatever codependent con connection or whatever scarcity mindset or lack you know, spirit of lack you was dealing with in the past, you've since changed, um, you know, even your relationship with money, you've learned how to save, you've started to create a, uh, like a safety net for yourself, so to speak. And I feel like you're managing money wiser, better. Um, you're being more mindful, um, of what you're investing your money into as well. And I feel like this has led to you being, um, you know, having some level of stability and some level of success. And I feel like it's because you've been trusting your intuition, your instincts, when it comes to that, maybe something you do, um, you know, some spiritual gifts is also bringing in, um, you know, just like that, um, that, you know, that extra stream of income. And it's because, you know, you're just following what divine is telling you to do. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. Why is uh, synchronicity sorceress and Archangel Uriel here for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? And so we see this, uh, emperor here. So I do feel like, um, and then we got what flew out is the nine of cups. So this is you, you know, focusing on the self, loving yourself, putting you first, taking your power back, realizing that you are the prize, realizing that you no longer have to, um, 
you know, self-sabotage. If somebody loves you, they're going to show you. This is also about, you know, loving yourself, you know, um, focusing on yourself, self-care, uh, being selfish with your time, not allowing people to demand your time and your energy, trusting your intuition. Somebody also sees you as a twin flame or sees you as some sort of wish fulfillment. They see you as something and I feel like they're going to communicate this. They're going to come in and they're going to expose this because there's a face and there's water flowing out. So you're going to receive some sort of message of love. Um, and we got Usher, you remind me. So somebody's definitely um, going to tell you that, that you are, um, you know, that you remind them of love, that you that you embody love, that you that you make them feel loved. You know, like like I said, there's something that is like kind of like nudging on you. Um, just letting you know something's coming. It's like you're anticipating something. It's like you you know you're on the precipice of something new. And this person is going to feel familiar. Um, maybe this is somebody that you know, you know, um, already, you know, because remember you got this past life connection, you know, and you're going to have just like this instant chemistry, this instant synergy, um, and maybe y'all will just, you know, speak the same love language. Maybe y'all will just like, you know, be finishing each other's sentences because it says you remind me. So they'll remind you of something, you know, and I feel like it's because this is something that you've manifested. Uh, this can be someone who can absolutely become like, you know, that divine masculine because this is the emperor. So this is a leader. This is somebody that comes in, takes lead. Uh, this is somebody who definitely, um, they go after what they want. So they're very assertive, very powerful. Um, so let's see, why is uh, relationship change, undying love, and the te temple path here? See that? What did I say? I can't make this shit up. You got the, uh, what is this? The two of cups? Oh, no, this is the lovers as I referenced earlier. And you see there's a feminine energy off in the distant past. So I do feel like somebody came in between this connection. And that's why undying love is here. Because there could have been a third party. There could have been somebody who came in and defiled the connection. But I feel like when this person returns, this is somebody who definitely has marriage, has a spiritual um, connection with you. Somebody that you'll feel this, this, this synergy, this connection, this chemistry with. You see how they're like gazing into each other's arm, um, eyes and kind of holding one another. So I do feel this is like, you know, somebody that will love you unconditionally, like a twin flame. This is like the yang to your yin. So this is definitely somebody who will speak your love language. And so we have here the devil. Look at this devil. Some of you all, I feel like you're being imprisoned by your mind. So you need to go outside so you can get out of your head so that you're not self-sabotaging or so you're not like, you know, because this is like deception. There's somebody deceiving you, somebody around you that's like messing, you know, with your energy. And this is somebody that's watching you. Like they watch you like a hawk. They're constantly watching you. So this, is, this could be like a boss. I'm getting boss energy. I don't know why that came up. This could be somebody who could be watching your social media platform or people jealous of the fact that you have some sort of uh, success in life. Jealous of the happiness, the joy that you have. This devil energy, this is obsession. This is possession. This is somebody, like I said, that is just like, you know, they study you. They stalk you. You know, this is somebody that wants to be you, that stand, that person that pretends to be, you know, like a fan, you know. So if you do music or something like that, you know, I was telling my daughter about the, the story of Selena, you know, that beautiful artist. Um, and she, you know, got killed by a fucking crazy ass fan that she made, you know, like the head of her fan club. And she ended up, you know, trying to steal from Selena. Selena found out, confronted her. And the girl done shot the girl in the back. The woman, grown ass woman, shot this young, beautiful, you know, talented queen in the back and killed her and snuffed her of her dream. So that's just, you know, an example of how important, how imperative it is to know who you have around you. And I feel like a lot of y'all, you know, you may live with some of these people because the divine is telling you go outside. So maybe you, you could feel imprisoned. You know, um, by this energy. So you, you gotta like, you know, you gotta heal that self by, you know, stepping outside of your situation and, and looking, you know, from the outside in so that you can see that something's in balance because there is some dark energy around you and they are jelly, baby. They jelly, they jealous. And look at this energy here. You got this shit right here. Hold on. I'm going to show you. 
This is somebody from your past. This is somebody that's just kind of daydreaming. Remember I said the Six of Cups? I was picking up Six of Cups and the Lovers. Both of them came out. You got the Six of Chalices and the, the Lovers. And so this is somebody from your past. But I do feel that this person from your past really um, is realizing that they do have these feelings. They do have some sort of um, strong connection. Maybe they are sexually attracted to you. Maybe this person, like I said, is um, very obsessed and this is somebody you have cut off, somebody that you've had to heal from because maybe this person was, you know, kind of like just negative and, and, and you know, toxic in some way. Maybe there was a codependent connection. And we have John Coltrane here. Somebody's realizing that you are the gold, that, you know, whatever they chased after and, dis and dissed you for was glitter and you're the gold because this is John Coltrane and this is called Naima, but the name of the album is called Gold. So somebody sees you as gold, sees you as, you know, I'm hearing prized possession. So this is somebody trying to hold on to you, but you've since turned your back on someone. You know, you've turned your back on this person. And that's why they stalk because you've kind of like blocked them. And you're looking off into, you know, the new. You're looking for better connections, better, you know, dynamics. See this? We got the two of wands here. And so with this two of wands, I definitely feel like, you know, you're making a decision to move on. You're making a decision, you know, to go after what you feel is, is best for you now. Because as I said, it's like you, you're, you're practicing self-love. You're more disciplined. So, you know, a thing can only give you, you know, can only distract you if you give it your attention. And that's why you've turned your back on this devil energy. You know, you've turned your back completely on this toxic shit and you're looking forward to, you know, moving upward and onward to following your passions, to following your desires, to not allowing somebody to keep you stuck, to keep you, you know, bound. And we have here the um, chariot. So this is being more assertive. This is also, you know, like a yes answer. So you found balance, you know, whatever, you know, questions, whatever choices you've had to make, I, I feel like you've made a decision. If you were stuck in two minds or stuck in that fork in the road, you've made a decision to push forward, you know, to find that balance, to, to, you know, to go after what it is you want. I feel somebody's also coming in towards you um, that could absolutely be like, you know, that divine masculine or divine feminine, because this is dual energy also. And I feel like somebody definitely is going to be more assertive if they didn't make the, the, the if they didn't make um, the effort in the past. I feel like they're going to be more assertive this time around. See that? Look at the ten of wands. Somebody's finally coming out of you know somebody's whirlwind of bullshit. Remember, I was saying somebody was two faced, talking out of both sides of their mouth, and somebody was caught up in the rapture, caught up in some sort of illusion. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody got you know tantalized by somebody's words and so they could have abandoned you you know because they had addictions that they was dealing with drinking drugs you know sick suck you know sex incubus succubus energy so they could have went after somebody else because the song gold you know the album is called gold so i feel like somebody went after glitter thinking it was gold and now they're kind of climbing out of that rut getting out of it and now they want to go after what they want be more assertive you know, I do feel like you also are learning to unburden yourself, to come out of the, the you know, the this negative um, state of just giving people, you know, the benefit of the doubt and trusting words. You know, you're in your, you're on this do not disturb my groove. We got the system playing. So somebody was going, you know, there, there was a system here. I feel like there was a system going on. Somebody would say a bunch of shit and you would just go along to get along. Like I said, very passive, very naive in some degree. And somebody just was able to like mind fuck you and gaslight you until they couldn't anymore because you cut that ass off. You started to see them for, you know, how deceptive they were, you know, and now somebody done got caught up in their own traps. And we see here we got the, um, this is the Knave of Swords. So like I said, spying. These are people spying, studying you, stalking you, learning you. This is really like, but you on your, you know, don't disturb my groove, you cutting heads. You on your Wu-Tang shit, protect your fucking neck because you're not doing this ever again. You're very particular. That's why you like on your, you know, like you loving you, you being selfish, you practicing self-discipline, self-care, self-love. You know what I'm saying? You focusing on your dreams. You're not giving nobody nothing. Your body language says it all. These people are gossiping, lying, spying, stalking. 
and you're just moving forward because you found balance. You made the right decisions because remember, somebody was trying to keep you stuck in your head, trying to keep you stuck in the past. But remember, the divine said you got to release in order for the new to come in. And so we have here the three of chalices, somebody wanting to reunite, somebody wanting to come back, somebody from your past. And I feel like this person is coming hot and heavy because they do see you as wish fulfillment. You got the six, the love, and then you got the three of chalices. So that's like the nine of cups, which is here. So somebody does see you as wish fulfillment. And I feel like they're going to spill the beans. Like they're going to express this love. And I feel like because you're on, you know, this, and this protective energy, you're very guarded and you're like, you're, you got a system right now. And so you're not as open, you're not as receptive, but the divine is saying surrender because this person that's coming back is coming back with the right mind. They're coming back with the right intentions. I definitely feel like somebody lost themselves in their work. Maybe somebody feels unfulfilled by the work that they're doing. You know, waiting for, you know, things to improve, for things to open up. And it's like, just be, be humble, be patient, because everything that you're working on is going to manifest something beautiful. See that? The hermit mode. Just been mastering your craft. Hold up in the house. That's why there's a lack of, like, excitement. You don't feel as fulfilled. Feel like all you've been doing is working and you don't really see anything. But the divine is telling you absolutely that, you know, all of your hard work is paying off. Especially with this blossoming abundance and carnucopia. So it's going to, like, you know, it's going to really open up for you. Even Mama Lakshmi was saying that, you know, no need to worry. Better days are ahead. So if things seem a little, like... You know, a little, um, you know, a little blah or a little slow, you know, you just got to be patient and you got the moon. So something's coming to light. I feel somebody is rushing to you to expose some, something that has been hidden from you. And with this 10 of wands, somebody may tell you that they found out somebody was doing some sort of spell work, keeping them trapped, keeping them stuck. So let's get some messages from my deck and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have, I love how you love me content. So this looks like somebody's rushing in to tell you because he's rushing towards the moon. And so we know the moon, you know, you can't see all sides of the moon. So there's like, you know, it's something's hidden. You know, this also speaks to intuition. It speaks to somebody com communicating with you intuitively, telepathically. And this is somebody hiding their feelings, perhaps. And it's because you've blocked them. Maybe, you know, so we got enough of no love. I know my worth now. Bye. And so you walked away from somebody, you ghosted somebody, as we saw in the beginning, with that Houdini. So you definitely ghosted someone. I feel like somebody realizes in your absence how much they care for you. You got success here. This is like infinite supply. We see that carnucopia and blossoming abundance. So things are expanding and growing. You're being rewarded, recognized, and blissed. You've been focused on, didn't I say somebody was losing themselves in their creativity, mastering some sort of skill set, some sort of talent, some sort of gift. And that's what's going to garner this abundance because, as I said, Mama Ma'at is bringing wish fulfillment. So whatever you've been asking for and praying for, because you've done the work, because you've done your due diligence, you will receive the blessings. Somebody wants to come back from your past, as I said, but they're fearing rejection because they, need, they know they did a lot. They know they didn't make the effort. They know they kept secrets from you. They know that they didn't communicate enough. And that's why they're seeking your, your forgiveness as well. I feel like a lot of you get lost in your work. You, a lot of you are just focused on your coins, as I said, saving up for rainy days. Somebody sees you as a miracle, as an earth angel, as special, as unique, as rare, whatever they went out and dealt with. It, it, it couldn't hold a candlestick to you. And they also know that you're open to the new. So you could be like really, you know, just, um, you know, you like I said, more adventurous. So maybe some of y'all are dating now. Some of y'all are open to dating. Somebody is getting afraid of that. See that synchronicity is here again. Angel numbers. Some of y'all could be seeing these numbers, synchronicities, you know, whether it's 111, 222, 333, 444, 555, 666, Like whatever you're seeing, you're, you're, you're like, you're seeing it constantly. And that's the divine letting you know, like you're on the precipice of something new. Something new is about to unfold. Your vulnerability is your superpower. So your vulnerability is the fact that you're empaths, that you are very um, emotionally intelligent. And I feel like that's how a lot of you made the decision to forgive those who knew not what they did. And I feel like that's ultimately what brought you into harmony. That's ultimately what made you like radiate this energy of being a healer. What did I say about y'all having a bunch of people watching on, watching y'all, spying on y'all, stalking y'all? We see it here. Can't make this shit up. These people know, and they know, they know that you, that you are 
about your business. So that's why, you know, like right here with the um, Archangel Ariel and the um, Rihanna card, they know that you can see right through them. This is a page trying to deal with a, a queen. And she already sees you collected already. You already collected some heads. So you're not with the bullshit. So that's why they resort to spying, stalking, trying to study you. I feel like these are people trying to study something you do. Maybe, you know, some of you all, like I said, you, you know, you may be into entertainment. So maybe you make music. Maybe you have a podcast. These people are non-original. So they could be trying to bite your style, bite your ideas, steal something for you from you because they hate what they can't duplicate. Some of these people could be people that supported you in the beginning and then they turned into some sort of like deranged fan, like the bitch that did, you know, killed, you know, that beautiful soul, so, um, Selena. So it's like, you, that's why I was picking up, like, you got to be mindful of who you have around you and what you're sharing because you got some folks that are literally jealous to the point where they would harm you. And I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to keep you aware. Okay. Fear is false expectations appearing real. Anyway, you just need to keep your head on a swivel, beloved. Everybody that's smiling on your face is not your friends. If anything, they're trying to replace your ass. Ancestors are pleased with you because a lot of you all have overcome some really difficult times. You shook this devil. You cut that shit off. You cut off the people, places, and things that wasn't serving your highest good. You recognized the, the fraudulence, the fugaziness that was going on around you. And you made the necessary changes to cut it off. You ghosted those people and you created boundaries. Remember, don't disturb this groove in the hermit. So you all knew to retreat. You all knew that, you know, you could not just give people the benefit of the doubt anymore. So let's go ahead and get these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. As I say, bottom of the deck, I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. Okay, so this is what you did. Somebody was not giving enough, wasn't taking care of your needs. This is somebody that was just out there hitting anything that had a pulse. You know what I'm saying? And there was a lot of people gossiping about this. There's a lot of people talking about behind your back. This person himself or herself was literally defaming your character, trying to make you the issue, the problem, when they was the one out there doing wrong. And I feel like this person didn't give you anything. They didn't appreciate you. But this person also is receiving karma. And I feel like you're receiving karma because you didn't engage. You gave them nothing. You know what I'm saying? You didn't even give them your attention. When they was screaming at you, trying to get your attention, posting shit online, you was just like, I'm going to let my mama aunt handle that. I'm going to let the universe, I'm going to let my angels handle that. And now somebody is literally, you know, knowing like, damn, you know, you, because you are such pure, you know, you're like a pure hearted soul. It's like they, they now want your forgiveness. They're now seeking your forgiveness because they know that's the step for them to start receiving, you know, to, to receive some mercy from the divine because they're getting hit heavy. Now all of the shit they did to you is now being done to them. People gossiping about their lives, talking about them, you know, because now it's like the truth has been exposed. Whatever was being hidden is now exposed, you know. So the people that they done rallied around and was lying on you, now they realize, those same people realize that you're, you know, this person that was gossiping and lying was actually the culprit, was actually the one that was the stan or the fan. You know, like I said, I was picking up like single white female that came out like in the early, I think that was like the late nineties that movie came out and it was pretty much like a stalker bitch, a crazy ass motherfucker that was like, she came in to be the roommate and then she was trying to take over the girl's life, she tried to sleep with the man. She was doing shit to just keep the girl with her and she was eventually trying to kill her so she could take on her life. But music is my sanctuary. So right now we have, um, too short and this is called, so you want to be a gangster. And so I'm just picking up like you all are like spiritual gangsters and somebody that's trying to, you know, go toe to toe with you. The divine is like, oh, so you want to be a gangster? You, you, you don't got nothing ready for this type of energy. This is somebody that, like I said, you feel energy. You're sensitive to energy. You're very intuitive, psychic, your channelers, your psych, you know, um, your, your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, like you pick up on energy. you got the sensitivity when it comes to energy and you are picking it up everywhere, you know, you go. You know, the synchronicity is like you, it's, you're like on a whole other level with it. And with music is my sanctuary. Somebody definitely communicates with you. Um, you know, I feel, you know, clairaudiently, maybe they send music to you and maybe they're hearing music. It reminds them of you, but I definitely feel like there's some form of communication via music. 
Maybe you all, that's your safe space, your safe haven. As I said, you could be, you know, um, artists, singers, writers, producers. You know, maybe you play instruments. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? See that? Attention whore. This is the attention whore that wants your attention. Remember, I, was, I kept saying a thing, um, you, you know, you could, uh, a thing can only, how did that saying go? I said it 45 times now. I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And it's because they don't want me to deliver this message also. But a thing could only distract you if you give it your attention. So somebody was absolutely an attention whore. And I feel like instead of giving your attention to the attention whore, I feel like you turned your back on that attention whore and focused more on yourself. Remember, I was saying self-love, self-care, self-discipline. That's what the nine of cups is about. Because the eight of cups is about you walking away from something that left you feeling emotionally bankrupt. So when you got an attention whore, this is somebody who needs the attention to feel valued, to, you know, to fill a void that they fill within themselves so they will have multiple people have you in a rotation of people and I feel like you just said no more I'm disengaging I'm focusing on me and I'm going to take care of my needs once and desires for once and for all because I feel like a lot of y'all you you stroke this person's ego for as long as you could and you know spirit was just screaming at you like look focus on yourself self-discipline self-love self-worth care for you do you and that's what you ultimately did and this led to you discovering just how dope you were how fly you were and also what your love language was you know what i'm saying you was in a non-reciprocal relationship somebody that's an attention who don't have no time to love on you because they just looking for you to give to them so look at this i'm falling off my game messed around and fell in love this person that was an attention whore in the past who needed um the attention of other people to feel validated or to feel valued um is now realizing in your absence um because your absence, when you are a real one, your absence will be felt heavily. Like people will realize how much they miss you, how much you, you, um, you know, how much you provided, you know what I'm saying? In terms of energy, how much energy that they relied on from you, uh, when you're no longer there to give it. And so I feel like now somebody's realizing they love you because you love them right. You was loving them right. Remember I was picking up on that word, loving them right. So look at this success. You have success here. You know, you, you are being blissed. You're being rewarded. Some of you all are going to receive some sort of like job promotions, pay increase, unexpected income. Um, maybe some sort of fortune is going to just now come to you because, as I said, many of you are initiates in the craft. You could be spiritual advisors, healers, shamans, light workers. You could be, you know, music therapists, sound therapists, whatever it is. It's like you, you're, you're going to have some sort of a divine um you know, partnership with someone. Maybe this is also going to bring in some sort of abundance uh, because you and another person will come into like some sort of spiritual partnership in addition to it being a love partnership. But this is just about growth, you know, and expansion. Um, wish fulfillment, as I said. My nose is tingling like crazy. Please pardon me. Um, but right now we have um, Keith Murray and this is called Get Lifted. So you're going to be like on cloud nine because when I hear Get Lifted, it's like you're you're literally ascending, um, you're leveling up um, in so many ways. And it's because, you know, you're coming into like this divine connection. Um, this is a connection where the love is, it's like, like I said, it, it goes beyond space and time. And this is somebody that you knew from a former life. And I feel like you're being reunited. I feel like whoever came in between this connection, whether in the past, in a past life situation, or even, you know, in this reality, they were gaslighting. You know what I'm saying? Remember that, that demon had that feminine energy in, a, a um, in some sort of um, vessel and he was just staring at it with his crazy demonic face. Well, I feel like somebody freed themselves, you know, and, and maybe somebody was exposed as doing, you know, for doing some sort of spell work, some sort of ritual work. We see this demonic entity here. So this is a devil. This is somebody who definitely has ulterior motives, somebody who definitely has addictions, afflictions, or some sort of obsession or possession, very possessive, you know, and they're watching and spying and stalking and clocking and hating and it's obnoxious and annoying and they hate the fact that you're balanced. They hate the fact that you've come into some sort of divine connection and I feel like a lot of y'all need to go outside so you can see the truth because maybe some of y'all are living with this energy. Some of y'all are like in this person's vicinity, you know. And maybe you've 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 realized that, you know, which is why she's, you know, this this feminine energy has turned her back. So maybe you all have realized that, and this person is really salty at the fact that you broke free from them. And we got get get lifted. So I'm just getting the fact, you know, get lifted is like another term for getting high, getting, you know, 
get nice as we used to say back in the day so somebody could be you know like somebody was getting lifted somebody had addictions as I was saying drinking I keep hearing drinking maybe even smoking because I see this cloud of smoke behind him so maybe they smoke a lot of weed smoke a lot of herb so let's see what we got divine spirit why is um, healing past life Cordelia yin yang the devil six of chalices and the two of wands here use your first eye to see not your two. They will deceive you. So what did I say about you needing to trust your intuition, trust what you're feeling? Getting outside will help you to see things clearly because I feel like a lot of y'all are imprisoned mentally. Like you're just seeing what this person is manipulating you to see. The devil manipulates. The devil is a master manipulator. So you need to use your own discernment. You need to trust what you're feeling. And getting outside will help you to see things clearly. You know, see that? The world. So this is somebody that you have to end the cycle with. This is like speaking to you, you know, completing a cycle. And now there's this sense of you gaining a higher perspective, a deeper understanding and knowledge of self. You know what I'm saying? This is also about you being in spiritual alignment. So it's like, you know, you have already cut that person off. You've already cut some sort of demonic energy, devil energy off. And I feel like that's why. There's this sense of somebody spying because it's like they're a little salty, as I said, on the bottom of the deck. They didn't invest in you emotionally. Now they're considering it because they know that this is your love language. They know now, you know, that you're looking for, you know, equal give and take and not to be carrying all the burdens on your shoulder. See that? The same energy. Oh, no, that was that energy. Sorry. So let me get um, let me get one more message um, for why is healing, fairness, the queen of pentacles carnocopia and this came right back out so you're going to get everything you ask for somebody that's going to emotionally invest in you somebody that wants long term somebody stable somebody that's going to provide security stability that's what you're asking for or what you've manifested i feel as this sorceress as this medicine woman man whatever you are magi alchemist you've manifested this and these are the things you've sent up in prayer and petition you know you can see here you've been you know really working around the clock to manifest what you want even with this three of wands this is like you know Know, oh, this is the three of chalices. This is like somebody from your past, I feel. Somebody you always had that dope connection with, somebody that stimulated you mentally. You know, like you could just speak to this person under the sun, moon, and stars. I feel like this is somebody that's gonna, you know, come in and they've had some sort of epiphany as well, you know, as to how they feel, as to what you provide. We got Bruce Springsteen, and this is called Streets of Philadelphia. So some of you all could be from Philly. I feel like this is somebody that was hugging the streets also, constantly out and about, you know, always, you know, because an attention whore got to be at every pub, every bar, every club. They got to have all eyes on them, just drinking, partying, and bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting. Just always out in the streets, always ripping and running, never in the house, never investing in the family. You know, but now you're attracting somebody that's going to be there, that's going to speak your love language, that's going to stimulate you, mind, body, and soul. Let me get one more message, Divine Spirit, and then we're going to wrap it up. Thank you. Came right back out. Mentally stimulated. So not only will this person be emotionally invested, not only do they have longevity in mind, not only do they want to bring stability and provide security for you and your children, this person is also going to be very stimulating to your mind, body, and soul. This is somebody that's very, um, I feel like they're, um, they're like well, um, traveled they're well learned like they've gone through a lot of life life lessons and we have this you know right on the bottom of the deck so i do feel like this is again you know veggie backing off of the synchronicities pay attention to the signs and synchronicities because you know this is like god is trying to tell you something god is trying to let you know this person is already here it's like you know the divine is in the background saying like q scorpio's love interest you know what i'm saying pretty much and that's what people are hating. They're hating the fact that you've been able to level up, that you've been able to break free from whatever curses, hexes, and spells that they was trying to implement, from whatever confusion, mind fuckery, gaslighting they were able to get away with for so long. And, you know, now you are highly in tune. You're tapped in. You speak energy. You know what I'm saying? You get messages straight from source. So you trust what you feel intuitively you trust that inner gumption instinctually like you're not falling for the okie doke and this is why they don't like it because you are you know you use discernment now 
You know what I'm saying? You speak energy. You know, and this is the change that you've made since this person has not been in your life. And now you're more susceptible to cutting people, places, and things off that don't serve your highest good because you've learned your love language. You know your worth and value now. You're not going to have that toxic shit around you. And this Ten of Wands, these are people that have caused you major burden. And you have since created boundaries because these people have taken you for granted in the past. And it's not going to be no repeats of the past because you're only interested in new you know what I'm saying? You want the new. You want people that are going to put in, you know, what you put in. You know, look at this. We got Rolls Royce wishing on a star. So somebody's definitely seeing you as wish fulfillment, sees you as a star in the spotlight, getting recognition, getting rewarded, coming into all of this abundance. You are stable. You're secure. You're attractive. You're seen as a healer. You're seen as a shaman. Like they see other people you know, soliciting you for advice, for assistance, like you're giving, you know, you're giving back in some way. And I feel like, as I said, this is this, this world card, this is the world in my deck. You know, you, you've, you've learned, you've mastered your crafts. This is about self mastery. This is about ascension. This is leveling up, growing in the process. This is also learning how to navigate you know, difficult terrain, whether that be relationships, friendships, it's like you've learned how to navigate this shit because now, you know, you know that you create your reality. So you're not attracting this negative shit no more. This shit is trying to attach itself to you. This is why they stalk. This is why they're obsessed, you know, because you are a star. They can't stop watching. It's like, no matter how much they try to stop watching you, no matter how much they try to you know, to block you out, it's like they your name will pop up in their feed because they done searched your ass so much. It's like some new shit keep popping up. And these are people who got dummy accounts. These are people that you, you know, definitely have cut off. And you may not even know these people are like, you know, obsessing over you. But the divine is giving you the signs and synchronicities. Some of y'all are getting signs and synchronicities to just start like blocking people you don't know or like cutting um, yourselves free from friend requests, you know, that you don't know who these people are. Like I know for myself, I, sp I told y'all before, like in my Instagram, um, you know, I just started like unfollowing a bunch of people that I didn't know. And I stopped allowing them to follow me because I don't know you and I don't know why you're here. I don't know what you're looking for. I already had some, you know, um, popular YouTuber, and this is a feminine energy that all y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe it's possible. And she went snooping around in my Instagram, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, and then after she snooped around and found what she was looking for, doing whatever the fuck she was doing, she blocked me from Instagram. I ain't do nothing to this girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what the fuck her problem is, but this is the type of shit you got going on. So you got to pay attention to the signs and synchronicity. If some shit don't sit right in your spirit, be off it. I know I've been encouraged to not, like, I'm not even going to tell you because that's my business between me and my my tribe, my soul tribe, my um, my spiritual um spirit team, my ancestors. So, but I, I just feel like y'all may, you know, need to do some deep cleaning. Just make sure you know who you're, tr who you're following, who's following you. Um, if you're pursuing certain business endeavors, keep it to yourself. Make sure not to share everything you're doing, because I feel like you got a lot of people trying to steal your information or steal your ideas. And, um, that would be jacked up if you come up with something and somebody gets recognition for some shit you created. So just be mindful. But I see why these haters are hating and why, why you got a lot of attention. It's because you all have mastered your crafts. You sharpened your sword. You did what you had to do so that you could level up. And I feel like the divine is recognizing you. We already saw your ancestors are pleased. Um, you know, that your ancestors approved. They are pleased. So that means that you all have really, truly made, you know, your your angels upstairs very, pre, uh, very proud of you. Um, right now we got Flying Lotus. And this is called Testament. So I feel like your testimony is going to be very helpful um, to others. I feel like you all have become that healer, shaman, light worker. And this is why, you know, you're able to help others because you've literally turned your pain to power. You've transmuted that energy and turned it into something magical. And other people will, you know, be able to benefit from that in some way, shape, form or fashion. And this is just like, you know, that's why you had that envy card. You know, somebody's really envious. Somebody's really sitting here around trying to, you know, clap, calculate 
uh, some some plot, some scheme, some scam, you know, plotting, scheming, and scamming, you know, your downfall. And it's all good because when you got the ancestors on your side, there's nothing you need to worry about. They need to worry about you, though. All right? But this is your reading, beloveds. Um, I truly feel, again, like y'all rather eat crumbs with bums than steaks with snakes. And these people are perturbed that you've moved on and cut their asses off and ghosted them. You pulled the Houdini move on that ass. And, um, you know, they're sitting back watching y'all have some level of success. And they're upset because they're not able to um, bask in that success with you. Or they're not with you, um, you know, right now during this journey. But... It's their loss, your gain. Keep move, keep moving forward, upward and onward. Um, this is your reading, beloveds. I hope that the message is resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. If you are new, hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Beloveds, love is love is love. I want to send a beautiful shout out to my soul sister, Kiana. Thank you so much for this beautiful bracelet. I love, love, love it. Thank you so much. This is very kind of you. I absolutely live for it. Silver is one of my favorite. I love silver. When I was younger, I always wore silver. Everybody was rocking gold door knockers, and I was getting them babies done um, in silver. You know what I'm saying? So I was always on my silver. So I love that. Thank you so much, my soul sister. Thank all of you. Thank you also. Let me give another shout out to this beautiful soul sister who sent me um, a love donation the other day. I don't want to forget nobody. I'm very thankful, very humbled, and I appreciate you all. Um, so my soul sister, and we got strength, courage, and wisdom. This is what you guys are exuding right now. That might be the name of this reading. And we got Tamia Pierce. So thank you, my soul sister, for your beautiful love donation. I appreciate you kindly, and we're going to let the song ride out. Strength, courage, and wisdom. That's what you all are exhibiting, exuding. That's what you are, and that's what people are hating on. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. Until next time, I send you a big, fat ashe.